Hey, it's Peter, and I am still stuck in this traffic three and a half hours later. And do you want to see the ridiculousness that is going on right now in my life? Traffic is backed up, like, literally 20 miles. They cannot get an um, salt machine out here on the interstate. So, look at what is going on back here. Do you see this? They are backing up an ice assault machine on the side of the road. Absolutely ridiculous. The other side of the interstate is moving. Look at this. Oh, they're, they're icing it as we go. Do you see this? That's really nice. Slide some over here so I can get my ass moving. Poor guys. Can you imagine if that was your job? Oh my God, I can't even imagine. That would be so horrible. But since I'm still sitting here, um, I ask on Instagram if anybody had a question and I would do a Q&A. Guess what? I didn't get a lot of questions. <laughs> okay, let's see if I got any. Let's see. I bet you wish you were wearing socks right now. I bet you're right. I bet I wish I was wearing socks right now. Oh, look, there's another one. Do you see? Oh, there's another salt truck. This is the most exciting video. Everybody's like, why don't you vlog while you're stuck in traffic? Because it's so fucking exciting. <laughs> I'm such a, having such a good time right now. Oh, my God. Anyway, okay. Um, I bet you wish you were wearing socks right now. Like I said, I bet you're right. I bet I do. My feet aren't actually very cold because my heat is on. I'm kind of just a little still worried that I'm going to run out of gas. But anyway... Uh, let's see. What's your favorite dance move to bust out and show us? I mean, I don't know. What do you want to know? <laughs> it's so funny because people are always like, do you dance? I go to, like, you guys, my husband and I own a website where we interview DJs and we go to music festivals. Of course I dance. Like, I'm obsessed with EDM. And people will ask me, like, what are your favorite EDM artists? So, I'm a huge Cascade fan. I'm a huge Galantis fan. Um, I'm a huge, you guys want to hear, okay, so for you fans out there of EDM, I'll just go through my SoundCloud and tell you some of my favorites right now. All right, let's see, Peter's. You can go to my SoundCloud. It's Peter Mon. It's linked below. And you can follow all of my things. Steve Aoki, I love him. Um, let's see. Oh, my God. Naked. Sexual by Naked. N-E-I-K-E-D is, like, my favorite song right now. Um, let's see. Cedric Cervais, I love him. Uh, la, 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 la. Who are some big ones for me? Okay, Axwell is a huge one of mine that I love. Marshmallow, I love. I've seen all these people like a million times. I love them so much. Chainsmokers, Galantis, Dylan Francis. Um, Nora Impure is like really like loungy, and I'm like a, totally addicted to her. Um, let's see. Morgan Page, Dylan Francis. That's Cascade, Cascade, Cascade. Marshmallow, Calvin Harris. Uh, Fetty Legrand. I mean, just so many people. Martin Garrix. Um, I'm a huge, huge, huge Martin Garrix fan. You guys are like, we don't even care about this kind of music. Why are you even talking about this? So, there. I'm done talking about that. How do I get back into my Instagrams? Okay. Um, but I love to dance. And I'm a really good dancer. I know that's hard. <laughs> I'm a good dancer. <laughs> I know that's hard to believe. But, like, I do. Like, I'm just... I, I mean, I'm, I joke about it on here. But, like, I love to dance. So... Anyway, okay, um, where do you see yourself in five years? So in five years, I'll be 49, which is like surreal to me that I'll be 49 in my life. And I think that I'll be living either in LA or Miami at that point. My husband and I, Alex, we really wanna move to South Beach area. Um, Miami, maybe Brickle. So if you guys are in Miami, hit me up on Twitter or Instagram because I need friends in Miami, so. And I like a moons over my hammy from Denny's. <laughs> um, I think I'll have a couple more books written by then. And uh, look at my hot hair tonight. Oh, my Lord. Anyway, look at this little wing wingadoo. Wingadoo, what's up with that wingadoo, Peter? Anyway, and then I think that I'll have a couple more books written. I have two more right now that are almost done. One I'm editing and one I'm finishing. One's an adult novel. And the other one's a young adult novel, which is very dark. Um, and so those will probably come out in the next year, year and a half. And then I have another book that I'm starting. Um, and then I think I will, of course, still be happily married. And I don't know what else. Um, of course, my dogs will still be alive because they're going to live for eternity. Um, 
and I don't see a whole lot changing with my life. Like, I am not a person that, like, I respect change, but I don't like change. Like, I really, I resist change, if that makes sense. Um, okay. What, uh, not a question, but just want to tell you how, oh, th how amazing I think you are. I don't know. Oh, this is Gracie. Thank you so much. But I know we would be best friends. Your YouTube channel is my favorite. Thank you so much. Um, XX, little Julie XX asks me, are you a top or are you a bottom? I think that's such an interesting question that when somebody is uh, gay, you always feel like it's appropriate to ask that question. Like, would you sit at your dinner table with your mom and dad and go, now who rides who? Now, mom, do you do anal? I mean, like, would you ask those questions seriously of adults? Like, do you guys go out to dinner with couples when you go out there and you ask the question, like, so let me ask you, do you go, like, do you deep throat him? Like, I mean, who thinks that that's appropriate to ask those questions, okay? It is not appropriate to ask a gay man, are you a top or a bottom? And definitely not a gay married man, okay? So, but I'm versatile. Anyway, <laughs> you guys must know... And people will say, we didn't need to know that much about you. Well, whatever. People are going to ask, so I'm going to be honest. Hmm. Okay. Are you going to name us little monsters? I, you know what? It's so interesting. Like, I don't necessarily, like, really want to, like, name people that, like, watch my channels. But people love, like, being named, right? And so, like, Trishy's Fishies and all that kind of stuff. There's always kind of... I mean, I don't want to name them. You guys come up with a name. I mean, you're the people. I love you. I call you my people. My friends. I mean, you are. So, I don't know. Like, I love the Wolf Pack. Um, and I love the Wolf Pack. Because it started because Tyler Oakley shouts out good-looking guys in his videos. And he says, woof woof like that okay and woof is like if you see like a if you're gay i mean i guess it didn't doesn't have to just be gay but if you're gay typically and you see like a hot guy and you see him walking down the street you're like woof right and so that's how it started i said i wanted tyler oakley to tweet me out woof daddy and so that's how the whole woof daddy thing started on my channel if you're new to my channel and so i like the idea of us being the woof pack me included right i think that's real cute a lot of people like monsters but i feel like that's very much like lady gaga and i don't want to steal her gig because i mean lady gaga even though she follows me on Twitter, is very threatened by me, I'm sure. <laughs> Did you guys see her in the Victoria's Secret fashion show? I love her. I love her so much. A little full of herself, but I do love her. Um, pie or cake? Pie. Pecan pie. Obsessed with pecan pie. I wouldn't turn down a key lime pie. Love key lime pie, too. Uh, would you color your hair like Joey Graceffa? I have colored my hair like Joey Graceffa before Joey Graceffa was even on this planet. Um, in high school, I had blue hair. I had white blonde hair for a long, long time. I don't know why I was trying so hard when I, if I had known, I'd just get it one day. I, <laughs> but, uh, purple hair I kind of had. Um, I would love to do that someday. I wouldn't be opposed to that at all. Um, I really like, I'm kind of really into the color of my hair right now. So I really want it to be like this, like so many people have told me different shampoos to use and it's interesting because I've tried a lot of those different shampoos, shampoos, but I really want my hair like, like glittery white. Does that make sense? Like not with glitter in it, but you know what I mean? Like really like pronounced, pronounced. Okay. Hello, Daryl and said, what is a great movie to watch on a Saturday night? Hmm, that's a good question. Like a new one or old one? Okay, so a little secret here. I, over the holidays, want to watch all the Star Wars movies. I've only ever seen the first one, and I don't remember, like, seeing it. I went, like, with my dad to the movie theater and saw it. I actually, in the basement, have this, like, I must have been, like, five. I think it came out in 76, and I was born in 72, so that would make, uh, that would make it right. I'm like doing the math. No, I would have been four. It must have come out in 77. I remember I remember going to the movie theater with my dad, and I have this little t-shirt down the basement that's a Star Wars t-shirt that I got at the movie opening. That's so cute. But anyway, um, I think all the Jawses, I love the Jaws movies, even though I'm terrified of sharks, are great movies. On, you have to watch like two or three movies in a row on a Saturday night, you know? So that's what I think. But if I was going to watch any movie right now, I really want to see, <laughs> like, I'm not saying that I know anybody that does, but if you have a fire stick and you can get movies streaming, you might want to watch Arrival. I really want to watch that movie. I really want to go see that movie in the movie theater. So anyway, okay. Uh, do you like Disney movies? If so, which is your favorite? Okay, so this is a really funny story about me. Like, I have not seen very... That sound is my windshield wipers, okay? Not me farting. Um, I have not seen very many... I mean, dis unless you see me, like, move up like this, and uh, that's probably me farting. No, I'm joking. I'm totally joking. Anyway, I would never fart on camera, and if I did, I wouldn't tell you. But anyway... 
Um, <laughs> I have not seen that many Disney movies, you guys. Like, I just, I'm not that interested in it. I, like, there are some cartoons that I like, but, like, more like Christmas movies and things like that and Halloween movies. Like, I love all the Charlie Brown stuff. I love, oh, my God, Fat Albert. I love Fat Albert's Halloween and Fat Albert's Christmas. Those are two of my favorite cartoons ever. Um, I love this movie. That, this is really weird. Oh, what's it called? The Water Babies, and it's based on an English novel, and it's about this kid, and he's a chimney sweep. I own this movie at home. I was saying to a friend the other day, I go, why is the emoji like this? I mean, like, when everybody goes like this, but it's like this, why is it the emoji? And she goes, maybe they're flipping back the hair. <laughs> is that what it is? But anyway, they should make an emoji of me. Oh, they already did. The old person one. They put Everybody puts it on all their videos now. I think it's so funny. <laughs> anyway. This girl did a really nice video of me today, and she, like, this is what I'm talking about. She did this, like, really nice video of me, and she put, like, these old person's emojis on it, and she was like, I, I really wanted you to like my video. I thought, did you think that that old person emoji would really, just, <laughs> you thought that was the way that you were going to really uh, get, get into Peter's little friendship club, right? Like the Sheila Wood friendship club? Anyway, um, I mean, maybe put a picture of a prince on there and say, hey, Peter, this is you. It is what it is. The dancing lady, I think she's my favorite emoji. What's your favorite emoji? Leave it in the... Put your favorite emoji in the comment section below. I love emojis. What did we ever do before emojis? <laughs> love you like a sis. Anyway. <laughs> do you guys remember that? I love that so much. If you send me mail, sign it. Lilas. Love you like a sis. <laughs> dad as fuck. Anyway, okay, so, um, I haven't seen that many <laughs> Disney movies. I've lost it, you guys. I've been sitting here in this traffic for almost four hours, three hours and 45 minutes. I mean, come on. One spot for four hours. Seriously, dude? Like, move the shit. So, anyway, I kind of like my hair's a little bit longer and coming over my hat. I think that's kind of like construction worker sexy a little bit. Anyway, I, my favorite Disney movie is probably... <laughs> None. I mean, I don't know. Like, I don't. I haven't seen a lot of Disney movies. I, Coraline is that a Disney movie? I loved Coraline. Um, Beetlejuice. That's not a Disney movie. Uh, oh, I know the one that Pixar movie. The one about the house, the balloons in the house. Oh, I cried so bad in that movie. <laughs> but anyway, you guys. Oh, Up. It's called Up. I liked that movie a lot. I liked that movie a whole lot. <laughs> anyway, um, Alex and I tried to like watch all the Disney movies. He's like, you've got to see them because Alex loves them, like the Lion King and all that stuff. Yawnsville. Uh, we watched The Little Mermaid. <laughs> I didn't get it anyway. I just was like, girl, seriously, just stay under. Okay, next. Are you on 465? I'm from Indiana as well. This is EBZ. Uh, get home safe. Love your video today. Thank you so much, sweetie. Yes, I'm on 465. I've been here for four hours. Feel free to come visit. Um, what workouts class would you like to try? Say Pilates, Zumba, etc. And another question, what's your favorite gift you've received? Um, I would love to try Zumba. Isn't that what old people do? <laughs> lunch, 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 lunch. I love Zumba. I think it's so fun. I've never done it, so I don't really know, but it looks fun. Another question, what's your favorite gift you have received? Hmm. Well, my husband got me Boo Radley for my birthday. So probably Boo Radley. Um, and his brother Tucker. But Tucker's really Alex's, and Boo Radley's really mine. And they, like, as soon as we got them, it was so weird. Like, I totally believe that dogs, like, fix on somebody. Because, like, we picked them out. Like, they were the last two brothers. And the woman was like, if you're going to take one, you have to take both of them. And so we took both of them. We only expected to get one dog. And, um, like, Alex was like, oh, this is mine, and he's Tucker. And, like, Boo Radley looked up at me, and I was like, oh, my God, I have to have him. And, like, I was like, he's his name is Boo Radley. And it was so funny, because I always wanted to name my dog Scout from To Kill a Mockingbird. And my good Judy Tanya, she got a dog and she named it Scout. She didn't even have that dog anymore. She gave it to somebody that was lives on a farm because this dog liked to run. And I was like, I think that is such horseshit that she knew I wanted to name dog Scout. She didn't really either, though. But so anyway, so I named it Boo Radley. And it's so funny because <clears throat> Boo Radley is such a Boo Radley. If you've read To Kill a Mockingbird or seen the movie, he is like such a Boo Radley. I love him so much. Have you ever visited the Deep South? I'm in Mississippi, no jokes, Tiffany said. Hey, Tiffany, we've been talking on Twitter tonight. Girl, love you. Love you. Watching. Anyway, um, 
She, uh, she, yes, I've been to Biloxi, Mississippi. Um, I went there with my ex and we gambled. And is there anything else to do in Biloxi except for to go to riverboat casinos and eat buffets? I mean, it was delicious. We had a good time. Um, I've been all through the South because we drive. We drive when we go to uh, Florida every year. So, although this year, Alex said, I'm not driving to Florida. We're flying because he, he hates driving. I love it because I listen to audiobooks and coast to coast radio and music and stuff like that. Okay, be safe, by the way, said Tiffany. Thank you, sweetie. All right, uh, let's see. Uh, Kansas Girl, 1973, said, Okay, Gigi and Trisha make a video saying they are lesbians just days of each other's thoughts. I told Trisha, I said, Girl, why don't you and Gigi just stay? And she's laughed. But anyway, um, Gigi and her girlfriend are back together now, supposedly. Somebody sent me a message about that, that they were Snapchatting or, I don't know, doing something, buying each other clothes. I don't know who said that, but somebody told me that. So anyway, um, that was the last question. I don't have any more questions. Y'all don't have no more questions for me? Um, but yeah, so no, I mean, like, I don't think that's strange. I think all of it, I don't know. Trisha's gonna be okay. Like, I've talked to her, she's gonna be okay. Um, Jada Saris asked, do you still find it challenging to maintain, maintain recovery sobriety? Sorry if that question is too personal. It's not personal at all, and I love being asked that question. And it's actually my sobriety birthday today, um, as of right now. So, um, I do find it challenging. You know, I think the hardest thing about having long-term sobriety is that sometimes I think to myself, well, maybe I'm not an alcoholic. Maybe I'm not an addict. How would I know unless I tried it again? And I'm not willing to lose the things that I have by trying it and then losing my life, if that makes sense. But yes, it is still challenging. I don't really have physical cravings so much, but I do have emotional cravings. I think emotional sobriety is absolutely important, you know, to take care of your well-being and your peace and serenity and things like that. So whenever that is taxed and I'm stressed out, like that addict, alcoholic mind kicks in and I have to be very honest with myself and take care of myself and reach out to the people in my life that are my support network. So yeah, it is challenging. It's always going to be a challenge. You know, it's having a disease for the rest of your life. But um, I'm so happy that I am an alcoholic because everything that I have in my life is a result of me and my sobriety and having gone through the things I went with so went through so you know somebody said to me earlier today they said a miracle is something that you can't believe you don't a miracle is when you're going through it you don't think you'll ever survive it but when you've made it through it and you look on the other side you don't know how you lived without it and I loved that I thought that was absolutely beautiful so I'll leave you with that and I hope you guys are having a wonderful evening talk to you later bye